Sunday, ITV have a brand new series that you will not want to miss. Sundays are looking pretty good oh on ITV. Nice I've got all. to say. Nice oh, yeah. This one, though, the charming smuggler turned spy Harry Palmer is getting a new lease of life in an ITV adaptation of the Ipcrest file. The new series is the first major screen adaptation since the iconic film starring Sir Michael Caine, and it promises to be more action packed than ever. Let's have a look. We have an operation in Berlin. It's the retrieval of a missing person. Prisoner 17315, Palmer. What do you want? You will help us to locate and retrieve the missing person. If only life was that simple. You think you could trust him? Almost certainly not. This bloke, what's so special? He designs atomic bombs. Great. Don't you want to know what we're going to do to you? Take me out to dinner, perhaps? Glad you came. Very. Wow. Ooh, Star of the new series, so Joe Cole. Joins us now. Lovely to Hi, see you. Thank welcome. you for coming in. Welcome, Set welcome. in the 1960s, the height of the Cold War, this uh, massive battle between the, um, the East and the West. How very timely. Yeah. <sighs> Tell me about it. Yeah, it feels um, very correct for the moment. Yeah. It? yeah, it does. The thing is with, uh, with this one, though, I mean, this is, as you say, it's 1960s. The style looks fantastic. It looks amazing. Explain Harry, because he, uh, he was a sergeant um, and uh, a little bit dodgy. Then he gets, then he gets caught and uh, he's about to go to prison and then... Yeah, so he's, he's, yeah, he's in Cold War Berlin. He's an he's a, a army corporal. He's involved in all this slightly dodgy activity, wheeling and dealing, and he gets put in military prison. And he, you know, he's haunted by a, hit, a killing in Korea, uh, and he's approached by a secret arm of British intelligence to, and he's basically blackmailed into working for them to find all these unscrupulous individuals that he's been involved with in Berlin. And so, obviously, you've got the 1965 movie. This is the Michael Caine movie. And I'm not going to ask you, because I think everybody is, about the big shoes. We know that's big shoes to fill, probably one yeah, of the no, biggest no out pressure, there. No pressure, right? No pressure there. <laughs> but you wanted to give a bit of a nod to that and the look of him, getting him right. And you were thinking about the original glasses and you had to sort of look around for the right things to, to see. Yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because you're doing something that's very famous for a certain generation, yeah. right? And obviously it's Michael Caine, he's an icon in this country. So it's, there's an element of recreating this character who he was, you know, he's from London, he's cotton, he's working class, he has a certain look, he wears a trench coat, he wears these iconic glasses, but also doing my own thing with it. And it's, it's, it's not, you know, it's not an impression, it's a completely mm. different yeah. mm -hmm. character. You know? sure. But yeah, the glasses, is a big part of it, you know. It's like it does most of the work for me. Well, you went through yeah. you went through an entire shop trying to find them. It was like, like practically the last pair you looked at and thought, ah, these are the right ones. Yeah, yeah. I was saying it was like finding the Harry Potter magic wand. It was like <laughs> I went through every single pair. Yeah. I was waiting for the uh, the, the costume designer Keith Bennett to turn up. I tried on every single pair, and there's one fair, one pair that fit. There That's was a big. Auction last night, I think, of Michael Caine was auctioning a whole load of... He's downsizing, so he's getting rid of a whole load of stuff, yeah. so he's less cluttered. His glasses, I think, were in the auction. Glasses, yeah, sunglasses. I mean, he's obviously kept all this stuff. I, I'm quite minimalist, so I get rid of everything, but he's, <laughs> he's, he's obviously... He's got some amazing pieces there. Well, um, make sure you keep those glasses from that. Yeah, yeah, make yeah. Sure you've got those. It's a great cast. I mean, obviously, Tom Hollander, who's amazing. Lucy Boynton, who is just stunning. What a gorgeous actress she is. Um, Tom Hollander, when you got on set, you were thinking, I'm going to play this cool, and that sort of went out the window slightly. Yeah, I mean, when you're working with great actors, they, they, they just bring something else out of you. Yeah. It's a real joy, you know? It's like working... You, know, you might have preconceptions or ideas about how you're going to do a scene, and when you get into a room with like, a heavyweight like Tom, it's... it's you're just you're just in the moment. You you know I mean, you, you're like that anyway, but you really are. You know, they bring different things out of your performance, which mm. um, which is is a real joy. Isn't you it? say that also happened on Peaky Blinders. I mean, it happens. Really? It happens a lot. You know, there's so many great actors in this show, like up and down, you know, small parts, big parts. But yeah, I'm, you know, Peaky obviously working with Killy and Helen. You know, um, all yeah. these people. You know, it's like you know, you, I've, I'm, I've been so lucky, man. I've, yeah. I've worked with some absolute. Phenomenal actors and actresses, and it's, it's, it's you just learn. You know, I never well, went Helen McCrory, who's just the most adorable person, just such a lovely, lovely lady. She helped your brother Finn as well, didn't she? 
Yeah, so 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 my brother Finn was his first role was on Peaky Blinders, and um, and Helen plays his mother, and she you know she just offered so much support on and off camera, and she was just I mean, you don't really realise until you leave the show how 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 much of a rare gem someone like mm. Helen was. Yeah, she was just one of the funniest people I've ever met. She yeah. just, she disarmed everybody with her humour, and uh, and yeah, we lost a special one. Yeah. Yeah, you certainly did. Um, Peaky Blinders is on BBC One, so your brother, you're weirdly up against your brother, I know. BBC versus bizarre. ITV. Yeah, it's bizarre. What are the chances? I know, what are the chances? I mean, thank God we've got ITV Hub and uh, BBC iPlayer, yeah, because uh, <laughs> we want, I think, I think, you know what, I think they're two fantastic shows. I've been yeah. fortunate enough yeah. to work on that show, it was brilliant. I really believe in this show. I think we've got an incredible team behind this show, mm. incredible cast, and you've seen some of the trailers and stuff. And well, I'll be watching really... this. We'll give you as many viewers as we possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll nice hand finishes. over some nice Thank you, mate. I can't, literally Thank can't you. wait. Thank Impress you. File Thank this you. Sunday at nine on ITV. Thank you.